Hey Gear Seekers, I'm Nick. You may remember this little Inwin Chopin build that we did a few weeks ago, and it was like a work from home type of PC. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna revisit this, we're gonna go Intel, because we're gonna do a Mac Mini build. Now the reason why we're swapping it from AMD to Intel is, AMD Integrated Graphics does not work with Mac OS. There's no way to get it to work. It's never gonna work, so Vega Integrated users, I'm sorry, it's time to go Intel. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go part shopping really quick, so I'm gonna put that down. We only need one thing for this build because uh, it came out of the dual system streaming PC and this is one of the things that I was talking about when I said we were gonna do another project with that little mini ITX board. Part shopping complete. It's already got everything ready to go. So uh, let's uh, build a Mac mini and see if it's any good. All right, ladies and gents, this isn't gonna be a definitive guide on how to get a Hackintosh built and up and running. Basically, it's just a regular build video that's gonna be running Mac OS. We're gonna do a couple benchmarks and all the stuff that we usually do when we do a build. I will put some resources in the description if you wanted to do this for yourself. And if you bug me enough, I'll even compile a custom image for you guys to use and I'll upload that to Drive, but I'm not gonna do that right off the bat, just basically because I wanna save some time and I wanna get this done as quickly as possible because to be honest, I'm really excited to get this running. This is the original plan for this case when I first got it, was to build a Hack Mini or a Mac Mini. And yeah, I wanna see if I can get one of my Mac buddies to benchmark their Mac Mini and then we might do like a a comparison of with how this performs against a real Mac Mini later down the line. But for now, we're gonna do a build and then we're gonna, yeah, we're gonna do, we're gonna do Hackintosh stuff. That's what we do around here, right? And look at it, it looks like a Mac Mini anyway, except a little bit chunkier. Now we are gonna like forego a few features with this system already before we even build. And that's gonna be Thunderbolt 3 because the board that I've got, and mainly, I don't think there's many Intel ITX boards that have Thunderbolt 3. So we're gonna be foregoing the use of Thunderbolt 3 and probably, probably Wi-Fi for now with the Wi-Fi card that's on that board. I'm guessing it's not gonna work. We could get lucky. It might be one of the ones that work. I have not researched it, but uh, I can just change it. Most of these ITX boards have Wi-Fi cards you can change pretty easily. And I'm guessing that's gonna be the case on this board too. Well, I know for a fact that I can change it. But anyway, I'm gonna shut up and we're gonna build. It's gonna be a 9600K and I should just do the teardown right now, eh? Can you get me the screwdriver please, Claire? Let's just do it right now. I'm gonna do it on camera from this angle to show you how easy this case is to build in because I still need to pull the AMD system out. You guys ready? Look, tear down. Look, quick tear down. Look at that, one screw. Side panel off. Uh, probably try, oh, sorry, I should probably show you what I'm doing. Uh, see if we can, I cannot see what I'm doing at all. Oh my God, that just unplugged. That's kind of perfect. What else do we need to unplug? EPS connector. Yes, I'm pulling a weird face because I can't see what I'm doing because I want you guys to be able to see how easy this would be to tear down. Front panel audio out. This one's gonna be a bit more tricky because of how I tucked in. Oh well, that, I, I lied, that wasn't tricky at all. I was gonna film this properly. Okay, let's see. One screw, two screw. No GPU, because it doesn't fit in here. <laughs> uh, three screw, four screw, and with a little bit of uh, luck, I cannot see what I'm doing. <laughs> I cannot see what I'm doing at all. <laughs> I'm trying to make it entertaining. Look at that, motherboard out. There you go, tear down complete, and the magic trick to get IO shields out. Done, all right, let's build.
you guys enjoyed the build of this little hack mini uh, let's quickly chat about the parts there isn't a lot of parts to go through in this video obviously because yeah there's nothing to it the motherboard we use is the gigabyte z390i Aorus Pro Wi-Fi. We've used this board before. We use it in our dual system streaming PC. It's a very nice board. In fact, the hardware on this motherboard is basically, well, not basically, it is exactly the same as our uh, streaming PC that we had as our second system in the system that we tore down a few days ago. That's like a couple days ago, right? Claire? Yeah. I don't even know anymore. Like it's just all feeling like one really long day lately. And speaking of such things, the CPU is the Intel Core i5-9600K. It's a six core, six threaded CPU. It's okay, it's decent. It's actually uh, basically the same spec as you'd find in a real Mac mini. So that's kind of why I went with it as well. I could have gone with a 9900K or whatever, but the problem with that is this CPU cooler, there is no chance in hell that it would actually cool it. And this power supply, when it's under load, forget about it because it's only like a 150 watt power supply. And that leads me into the uh, thing that you guys actually talked about in the comment section of the last Chopin build we did when we did the work from home PC, and that's the power supply built in. Now, it's it's progressively been getting louder over time. Now, I want you to listen to this. This is not the CPU fan at all. Ready? That's why I have it turned off. Because it makes this little ticking sound. It's actually pretty annoying. I'm pretty sure I could fix it anyway. But it is, like, stupidly annoying and ticky. But yeah, uh, the system works pretty good. We ran Geekbench. Oh, we'll chuck a couple of the Geekbench scores up on the screen right now. Uh, I'm not gonna do like a whole benchmarking section for this video, basically because I've got a plan to do a second part with this where we're gonna actually bench it up against a real Mac Mini and see which one's better. And we're gonna bench it against a Mac Mini with basically the same specs as this machine because I feel like that would be a fair comparison. Now, there was a few little uh, hiccups with getting Mac OS to run on this. We've got Catalina running on it. It runs perfectly now. I had a few graphical issues with the UHD 630 GPU, well, the integrated GPU rather, but what I managed to do, again, like the last Hackintosh video we did, is I put together a USB installer. However, I will be sharing the installer in the second part of the video, well, the second video rather, and not this one because I, there's a few things I want to fix on it and tweak before I image it and make it available to the public. So uh, please be patient. There will be an installer for this integrated GPU installation coming very, very soon because I did read a lot of forum posts and a lot of stuff with people having issues with the UHD 630. I had some quite large issues with it, but I managed to fix it because I'm a little bit of a Hackintosh wizard and yeah, it's perfectly running. So the installer that I built will fix all of the graphical issues from the installer onwards. So you'll never have any problems with it, but I will be sharing that very, very soon. So stay tuned for that. And yeah, what else did I want to talk about? I don't know. I'm, I'm just, I'm happy with it. I think it's pretty good. Don't like the ticking sound. That's super annoying. We've got the GPU acceleration to work. Uh, Wi-Fi, I didn't bother getting working yet. I can probably get it to work if I really wanted to. Ethernet's working, sound's working, basically everything's working on it. So yeah, it's, it's, it's fairly decent. I didn't do any SM BIOS tweaks, none of that. I did all of that built into our installer. So if you do want to use our installer, that'll be completely set up. And that sh should actually work for all of the Coffee Lake integrated GPUs. And maybe it will work on stuff in the future, I don't know. I guess we'll cross that bridge when we get there. Who knows when that bridge is gonna be when we cross it, but yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll figure that out later. But yeah, it's a, it's a decent build. Don't like the clicking sound, and I'm done. What do you reckon, Claire, are we done? Well, I'll put a PC part bigger list to everything that we used. Uh, if you like the music that you heard here, it's a new song. I made it uh, specifically for this video. I've actually been working on it for a week or so. But yeah, um, yeah, music, I make it, Patreon. If you want to get early access to our videos, float plane. However, I suspect that this one won't be too early access because I'm kind of uh, 
going by the seat of my pants to get this video out on time, or not, there's no real time limit for these things, but I, I just feel like I wanted to get it out as soon as possible. I don't like sitting on videos for too long. Uh, most of the time, float plane is usually like a day earlier than YouTube. Uh, lately, it hasn't been just because we've been incredibly busy working on main bite stuff, but we are getting back up to speed, so we will be back there very soon. Anyway, guys, if you like the video, Please like and subscribe if you didn't like the video, you know what to do and tell us what you hated about it. Thanks so very much for watching. I'm your boy Dick with Gear Seekers. You peak. We seek. And I just want to give a shout out to my friend Ken from Computer Clan. He uh, inspired me to build a Hackintosh this week because he's got a uh, semi Mac centric channel and I've been chatting to him a lot. And I was like, hey, you know what? I'm going to build a Hackintosh as a bit of a shout out. So, Ken, if you're watching, my dude, I'm going to build you something like this really soon. Thanks for watching, but more powerful actually, like way more powerful. I was talking to him about building Hackintoshes. I said I was gonna help him build one. Oh. You can help too. So we're gonna, yeah, if, if you guys are subscribed to Computer Clan, there will be Hackintosh com content coming really soon because I'm facilitating it. You're an enabler. I'm an enabler. <laughs> I was actually going to get Ken on this video to do like a little funny thing, but uh, I just ran out of time. Next time. Next time. Maybe we can get him on for part two. Maybe, Maybe he can help me with some of the benchmarking. Because he's got a couple Macs, so it would make more sense if I got him to help me with it. Maybe you'll see Ken in the next part. Mm -hmm.